The day started before dawn, but was a perfect cloudless 20 degrees with low wind. We stopped for live mackerel and headed out to a spot the captain knew to be good for tuna. There were whales and seals and birds all around. They come for the fish, just like the tuna. The crew prepped the gear and we started to fish. Within minutes, we had a tuna and the fight was on. We brought it in quickly, getting through the braided neon line and into the last 150 feet in about 30 minutes. The fish was starting to circle, a sign of fatigue. <laughs> but this wasn't our fish. He wasn't done fighting and took off underneath the boat, snapping the line against the bottom of the hull. So we headed back out into the ocean to find a fish in the middle of all those waves. Now what are we looking for? Well, I'm looking to see if I can mark something on the screen. If I see some splashes, too, keep an eye for splashes. Lots of gannets, herds of seals, and lots of whales were scattered all around, but none brought the luck they did earlier. Late afternoon, another boat had marked some tuna, so we headed over. The tuna were showing on the scope, but a bit too deep. We used some chum to try to coax them to the surface. They did rise to eat it all, except one on the line. We watched as these monstrous fish fed on our bait, slowly taking everything but the hook. The day had become intensely calm, which added to the tension as time vanished along with the bait. They're slowing down now. Not as many. But then... Oh, candy ho! A fish on the line with plenty of fight. <laughs> oh, woo! Woo! -hoo! Woo! Woo! All right. We gotta keep this one. We fought it for well over an hour and a half until we could slowly bring the beast to the surface. Wow! And seven and three claws again. And there he comes again. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Okay, crank slide. Crank, 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 crank. crank. It's right here. Swivel's coming. Swivel's, Swivel's coming. coming. Well, almost up the swivel. We only got a couple more. This is Just take pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh, what the f? Needless to say, we were all pretty excited. Oh my god. Okay, let him go. Holy. <laughs> is that a normal size tuna? You get a lot of them like that. Not many. Here's a big guy. Ooh. Holy! Oh, That's the biggest one I've seen. That looks like a dinosaur. Oh my god! You're, You're getting this right? Yes, I'm getting this. <laughs> oh, oh, let him go. Oh. You know what? I think I'm gonna let this guy go with the boat. Just don't crank the swivel in, okay? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Kenny, I gotta say something now. This is worse than you. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch that swivel. Uh, okay, no, not too swivel. No, don't. Yeah, hook him. I got it, I got hook it, I got it. Hook him. Hook him. Wait, no, wait until it comes around. We got about a foot. Crack the swivel. Put it in his mouth. In the hinge. There, hang on over. Oh! Got him. Hey, yeah, yeah, give me the knife. Let's let go. Get out of there. Get that out of there. Get the gas. Oh my god! Get the gas. Whale! <laughs> okay. Cut the line. Cut it. Over the boat here now. We let him go soon after, and he swam back slowly into the cool waters of the St. Lawrence. The captain said he was 900 to 1,000 pounds, and when he was alongside the boat, you could see he was easily 10 feet long. But how big was he actually? Well, this is a fish story, so he's a thousand pounds and ten feet long. In the end, we sailed back at sunset, marveling at the day we'd just had. A shout out to Captain Ken and his boat. He would have been happy to go back out and get another one if we wanted to. Anyone looking for a tune on PEI should definitely look him up.